This short video shows you how to add and create a new folder and report in the Sage Intelligence Report Manager. Open the Sage Intelligence Report Manager. Select Home and right click and select Add Folder. The enter a name for the folder window opens. Enter a name for your folder. Click OK. Your new folder will now be displayed in the object window. Select the folder where you want to add the new report. Right click on the folder and select Add Report. You will be given the option to select a standard or a union report. In this example we will add a standard report. Enter a new name for the report. Click OK once you've entered the report name. The Select Data Container window opens. Select the data container you would like to use for this report. Once you've selected the data container, the Choose Column Fields window opens. All the fields that are in the container are available for you to use now in your report. You can either select individual fields or select all fields to include in your Excel template. Select the fields you require in your report and select OK. Your new report is now in your specified folder. When you run the report, there will be no report template as you have created the report from scratch. The raw data will be on Sheet 1. You can now use the raw data from Sheet 1 and create a report template as per your desired layout. A recommended option is to create a pivot table as this allows you to summarize data, organize data and see relationships between your data. Select the Insert tab and select Pivot Table. You are going to place your Pivot Table on an existing Worksheet 3 so that your Sheet 1 is not overwritten. Drag and drop the fields that you would like to see in this specific report template. Because you are working in Microsoft Excel, you are able to add your own Pivot Tables and Pivot Charts as well as include functionality such as slices to be able to filter your data in your specific report templates. Slices will allow you to filter your data and see the changes dynamically in your pivot table and your pivot chart as you filter the data in the slicer. Remember to create and link the report once you have customized your report template.